Charles debuts his first official portrait as king. The photo was taken at Buckingham Palace last week after Charles took on the title of king following his mother, Queen Elizabeth II's death. In a touching nod to the late monarch, a photo of the queen and her husband, Charles's father, Prince Philip, appears in the background. I think in the same way that her father was um, absolutely determined that his daughter should learn the ropes in the shadow of his kingship, so too was Elizabeth keen that Charles learned and that she mentored him so that he was prepared. The photo of the late royals was actually a Christmas gift from the couple to the Queen's father, King George VI, in 1951. Now, we don't know when His Majesty inherited that image, but what we do know is what Queen Elizabeth left behind for the King. The Queen passed on the Duchy of Lancaster estate to King Charles, and that is worth anything between 715 and up to 900 million pounds. It's a huge amount of money because, quite simply, it is a massive swathe of land and premium real estate around the United Kingdom. I would imagine that with the king, it'll be, again, his flunkies who pull out the credit cards or the cash. I remember on one occasion being in Malta with Charles and Camilla on an official engagement, and I found myself in a bizarre situation shopping in a glass shop with Camilla, and she was picking out all these beautiful glass Christmas trees as presents to take home, so I copied her. And when it got to the till, realized that I was the one with the money, and of course she stood there while a flunky moved in and a deal was struck, the money or however it was was handed over, but it was very apparent to me there and then, the royals do not carry cash. The royals might not always have cash on hand, but King Charles has always been prepared to take the throne. No one could have known that he was going to spend more than a half a century learning the ropes of being king. Certainly in the later years of her reign, the queen would share important government documents, of course, with the blessing of the government, so that Charles could understand the legislation of the days so that he could get involved as we know he did because he lobbied ministers over certain things but it was very important to the queen that if he was going to have all these years in waiting then he really needed a good grasp of how things worked and she was very generous in that respect and more recently in her reign of course you know the Queen put down the foundations for Charles's future, the Commonwealth, for example. The head of the Commonwealth is a title that the Queen passed on to Charles before she died. It was guaranteed to go to him, and this wasn't a hereditary title. So in all of those things, she was paving the way for the future King Charles III. Charles's official coronation is expected to take place next year.